Kaifu, um, I can go in a thousand different directions uh, here. Uh, first of all, uh, your venture fund, Innovations, which is how many billions of capital AUM? Uh, we manage about $3 billion. About $3 billion. And you've been one of the most prolific AI investors. I've had the pleasure to visit you multiple times in China, and thank you for your amazing hospitality. You've now become an entrepreneur, yeah. um, and you're running both a company in China and a company in the United States. Uh, why did you do that? Well, because this this time is for real, right? Imagine, you know, uh -huh. this was my dream. Have you practiced before? <laughs> <laughs> well, this was my dream in when I went to college, that AI was nothing. No one knew what it was, but I felt this was the thing I needed to do. And then we went through multiple winters of AI where uh, there's disillusionment and I had to do other things. And about, uh, you know, seven, eight years ago, we saw with, um, you know, deep learning, it was became clear. It would create a lot of value. So, but at the time, I didn't really see it becoming AGI. So I was an investor. We actually created 12 AI unicorns in Sinovation Ventures. But this time with generative AI, uh, the speed at which it's growing um, is just phenomenal. So you and could I, help yourself. You were yeah, just... I felt if I just invested, I'd be missing out. I, I would be in the back seat. I want to be in the, in the driver's seat. By the way, everybody, I hope you feel the same, <clears throat> right? I, I'm very clear about saying there are two kinds of companies at the end of this decade, companies that are fully utilizing AI and, and everyone else is out of business. And I, I, yeah. I fundamentally believe that is, it is true.